Hey guys, today we're unboxing this Wi-Fi backpack kit from GoPro and this is going to enable us to use our camera from up to 200 meters away. It's going to give us some wireless streaming as well as videos. So any of your previews or your live feeds on your HD2 camera, you're going to be able to access that via any smartphone, tablet, PC. And it's pretty user friendly as well from what I gather from some of the testing. So we're quite excited to get that. The release date so far, still a little bit of a secret, but it looks like we might be looking at the middle to the end of August. So it's not too far away. So let's hope we can keep to that deadline and get it out there. Because then it's going to give us some access to using this card properly. Unboxing it, 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 it looks exactly the same as a lot of the other premium accessories. Everything comes nice and snug in the packaging. All straightforward. Remote control looks like it's quite a sturdy guy. So it looks like as you can knock the camera and handle it properly, it looks like you're going to be able to do the same with that. Wi-Fi backpack, pretty straightforward. Seems very similar to the LCD concept and the, and the battery backpack concept. And nothing too fancy or difficult to figure out there. Some manuals, none of us read those. You get your synchronization cable. So this first one is a little bit of a different one than what we used to. This is going to be used for the remote control. And as you see, remote control has got its synchronization input in the side of it. So none of us are really used to using it this way. And it's going to be interesting to see how we remember to keep this guy charged, keep our battery backpacks charged, as well as the camera. So, you know, it's a little bit of a... Additional thing to keep in mind, but I suppose we can we can live with it for, for what we're going to benefit from. The rest of the package is quite straightforward. You get your strap. You can put your remote control onto just about anything. Your charging and synchronization cable, which is a standard one you get in the GoPro 2 package and the GoPro 1 packages. Your non-waterproof door with the open sides. And then your waterproof door. Oops. Waterproof door as well. This little additional mount, this guy is quite important and a lot of guys throw this in their kit not knowing exactly what it's for. Now with these additional back doors being a little bit thicker than the normal ones, when you use this on a mount like your, your head strap, it sometimes enables your camera to not fit all the way in as it, as it should. And, and the idea behind this little guy here is to put it onto your head strap just to give the camera some space to lean off that mount so you can fit this back door in. Without it, you might have a situation where your camera is tilting a bit forward and not getting the shot properly. So be careful not to discard this without looking at what kind of setup you're looking for for your camera. The manual, I suppose this is the one that we want to hang on to. And then an extra little keyring for you to use your remote control and keep it handy. So let's, let's have a look at this little guy. It comes on and off pretty simple. You just follow the same routine as what you would normally do with your camera. You hit the button in the front. And for us to, to get it set up is, is, is maybe something that we're going to do in our next video. Just to quickly update these. Get the firmware correct. And as soon as we've got that going, then we can start playing with it. So let's quickly have a look at the this wrist strap. Very simple, straightforward. Nothing too, too difficult. Okay, so here we've got the strap on, quite simple, bang it on there, it's quite solid, it's not going to go anywhere, you can access all the information from right there, can't wait to start testing it, let's give it a go in the next video and see what we can do with it. 